for those two, Jones and Carlton, they're going to be pretty exhausted, aren't they? Yeah, I, I don't know that uh, Ashley uh, thought a couple of years ago, Jeez, grandkids, man. Um, uh, that, you know, you're, you know, you're, I just told her, I said a year ago, you're sitting in Iowa City, then you're going to go to Mexico, come home for a day, and go to Costa Rica. So, uh, but no one asked me, like she just said, Coach, I got up, I'm ready to go. So, I mean, that kid's got basketball in her, in her, in her DNA and their blood. So, uh, I think she's excited to be with her teammates. Obviously, it's a tremendous experience for her and uh, the people she got to play with and play for. So, uh, you know, you win a gold medal. I've had the pleasure of doing it a few times. It's, it's a few things better than that. So, uh, but it's nice to have her back home. What have these trips meant for your teams in the past? You know, I, I think the biggest thing it does is, uh, you know, everyone talks about, you know, the extra practice time, which I think is overrated. Yeah. Um, especially when, for us, I mean, arguably four kids that might start aren't even practicing. You know, Ashley, yeah. Bridget, Alexa Middleton's, we're sitting her out because of her, her knee a little bit in there. So. Uh, but I, I think the biggest thing is, is it helps the new kids get adjusted a little bit more, uh, whether it's terminology, how we do things, the pace we do things, how we handle road trips. I mean, yeah. you, know, how we, you know, how we travel, get on buses. I mean, all those kinds of things. But the biggest thing is the, the, the chemistry that they get. I mean, we play three games, um, but, but it's all the other stuff. They're, they're going to spend time together, get to know each other better. Because when you look at our roster, half of our roster are, are new to our team. So... Uh, that part of it maybe gives you a four or five week jump start to what they normally would go through in September. Mm -hmm. We're going through it now. So uh, you just hope you don't get tired of each other <laughs> uh, too soon. But, and we have to manage that when you get back from practice and we'll probably start a little bit later. But it's been a, uh, and I think this is a shorter trip, easier travel than, than going to Italy or Spain or something. So uh, I think our kids are really, really excited about the opportunity and, and the things that go with uh, being on these trips. Is that something you try to keep your finger on the pulse on during the trip? Because all kinds of what seem like little things, probably who's going to room with each other eventually, you, you can start to see budding relationships. Right oh, now. yeah. You, you spend a lot of time uh, just watching and, and analyzing and, and, you know, think uh, who, who meshes with who. Um, you know, you don't, you know do, do people kind of move on their own? Um, you know, how do the older kids impact and, and relate to the newer kids? And, you know, there's signs all over this building about the Iowa State way and and, and that's what we want them to do and teach that and, and talk about that. And again, it's, it's, it sounds simplistic, but it's how do we handle the buses and the airplanes and the airports and restaurants and uh, the way we do business here. Um, those are kinds of things that you want to get done now. Uh, and, and hopefully that'll happen. In the few practices that you've had, what, what has stood out to you? Uh, you know, I think, you know, Maddie Wise has really made improvement. I, I've been very pleased with her. Uh, I think our new kids are, are learning the tempo and the pace of college basketball. Uh, you know, I think the idea that you practice and then have to come back, oh my gosh, I got to do this again tomorrow and I got to do it harder, I got to do it better. Uh, that's, a, that's a shock to a lot of kids. Uh, but our conditioning is good. Um, you know, obviously, I think individually it's been a good summer, maybe not collectively because we've had kids you know, in and out, injured, rehabbing, gone, uh, all for good reasons or long-term reasons it'll be good. But I think overall, uh, it's been good that our kids have all been together, especially the newer ones. Uh, the biggest thing has been our strength and conditioning work. And, and again, just the, the terminology and how we go, go about managing our practices. Uh, those are things I think our kids have learned and it's been good for them. Uh, Health-wise, um, who are you going to have eligible? Uh, Mayor Alexa. won't play. Uh, Lexi Middleton won't play. Um, if we had a season opener today, Lex would play, but it's more precautionary. There's no reason to throw them out there in an exhibition game. Uh, everyone else is, is good to go. Uh, we'll make a decision. I haven't really, literally, I just saw Ashley for the first time. So I need to sit down with her uh, and Bridget to kind of see uh, how much we play them. Uh, we'll play them a little, not much. But everyone else is good to go. Uh, so we'll have uh, 10 for sure and, and maybe 12 players that could play. But Lex and, and Mayor will, will travel and be on the trip, but they won't play. Where does this fit into your, have you been on some vacations in terms of exotic locales? I've never been there. Um, everyone tells me it's a great place to go. Uh, it's kind of Americanized. Like I said, it's easy travel. We go to Atlanta to there. Um, you know, we stay in a Marriott. It's, it's gonna, <laughs> I guess it's going to be like, you know, a, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I've traveled so much and you recruit all summer. It's like. You know, oh great, another, another Marriott, <laughs> another, yeah, another uh, 
dinner out. But I, I think the biggest thing is, is, is all of our families are going, all the yeah. staff has their families going. Um, so that'll be fun. It's kind of our time. Our staff is very close anyway. We, we socialize together, we hang together, and it's nice to have all the families and have a lot of help for uh, Callie Ray, our granddaughter, because she's going to be crazy. So it'll be good <laughs> to have a lot of help with, with her, and obviously that one too. So, uh, But it'll be a fun trip, and it'd be a good way to end the summer and, and come back and get excited and get ready to go Jack Trice and watch some football. <laughs> Were you able to watch any of Ashley's games? Like she's a yeah, I, I you know did the YouTube thing like everyone else, but... Um, you know, I thought she played well. Her numbers were good. Uh, I think she became kind of the the designated shooter for their team. I saw him practice once, one day during the the recruiting break. I, I it was actually I was going to Denver, so I drove up to Colorado Springs and watched her practice. And, and Jeff Walls and Corey Close and, and Tasha Adair, the coaches were really happy with her. They were pleased with her effort. Uh, her conditioning was good. So uh, I think overall, I thought she played really well. I think. Uh, she contributed, and one of the things we, we talk about here every day, and I was texting with her, is you want to impact success every day, somehow, some way. And, and for her, I think it turned out to be play hard, do the little things, and when you're open from the three-point line, make it. I teased her. Her free throws weren't very good. We've got to work on that a little <laughs> bit. But, but she shot the three great and uh, I think contributed and I think had a part in winning and helped win a gold medal. So I think uh, it was a great experience for her.